Hello! Welcome to today's vlog. Today I'm doing a little experiment. I am going to vlog entirely on my GoPro without any external microphones and see how it goes. The reason I'm doing that is I really want to simplify my vlogging setup for when I'm traveling and nothing is easier than simply a GoPro and a selfie stick. It's a camera that can go in the water, that you can vlog, that you can do any sort of filmmaking. And the biggest problem is, I think, the microphone, because in order to improve the sound, I would have to... Hold on, let me just set you here. I would have to add, um, what they call it, uh, mod media, which is like a cover that goes around, and then you can attach a microphone there. And that's totally fine, but it makes it bulkier, like bigger, and, and then you have to attach the microphones. And my experience with those wireless microphones is they're excellent, but you have to use them properly. <laughs> I have forgotten to turn it on. I have forgotten one piece of it on and not the other one. I have pressed weird buttons that have done some weird settings and it has messed up the sound. So with this, there's no messing up because there's no sound to be messed with. You just press record. So that is what we're going to do today. I just had my breakfast and not the healthiest today. White bread. Yeah, I have to admit. I have been um, doing pretty good in my healthy eating. I've been having whole grain, like mochi grain bread in the morning with like peanut butter. But yeah, today a little guilty white bread with Nutella and a little touch of health, strawberries on top. But today is going to be a put my life back together day. As you can tell, I am feeling a little bit better and I can walk a little bit better. I was just getting so, so, so scared that I was gonna need a wheelchair, that I wasn't gonna be able to walk. And that's very scary because the world is not a wheelchair-friendly place. But anyways, my foot is better. Um, what's in store today? Well, like I said, picking up my life because everything is a disaster. So we're gonna start by tidying up the kitchen, then there's laundry there that needs to put away. I'm a little embarrassed. Should I show you that? Hell, everybody has messes, right? I'm not the only one, especially when you've been sick. But my desk, total disaster. I want to change this desk. I have another one in the basement that is a little bit larger and it would solve this situation of having to have two. But regardless, this is not supposed to be that way. This my friends, was me yesterday trying to find bed sheets for my van. And those are our four bins of extra bed sheets. And I literally had to go through all of them. And now they're all sitting there. And I decided, you know what, since I'm going through them, I might as well do a proper organizing and put labels on the boxes. So the next time I'm looking for something, I don't have to open all of them. So I'm going to sort them by like king size, queen size, duvet covers, that kind of stuff. So that needs to be done. Then there's a few pieces of things here on the couch, like bunch of chargers, charger cables there too. There is a bunch of stuff being um, 
charge there. Bed that needs to be done. Let's open the window. Ooh, it is sunny. So the other thing that I like about the GoPro is that it has a very wide angle lens. So right now I only have like a tiny little short uh, selfie stick. And so the setup is super light. Like the camera is light if I don't add like the mod case and, and uh, microphones and fancy like handles. It is so, so, so light, which for me makes a huge difference because my arms just hurt so much when it holds weight. And it has beautiful stabilization because it's an action camera. So I can move around and you guys are not gonna be dizzy. That's genius, so I hope this works. I hope I can make this sound work. Another disaster area. I have all those clothes that need to be put away. All those clothes that need to be put away. So those are clothes that were drying, but they are already dry. This is laundry. Hi. Isn't this like super, super easy? It's just like, just like a little stick. This is like foam, super light. Anyways, and then here, it's a little dark here, but this was me starting to pack to Thailand. But now, this is not happening, so I should put all this stuff away, but I'm not going to because this trip is still going to happen. This dream is not going to be wiped that easy. I have canceled it three times already. I am going to plan it again. And if I have to cancel a fourth time, I will, and I will plan it a fifth time. Yeah, that is what's happening. So I'm not putting that stuff away. It's in a bin. It's going to stay there because then the day that I'm going, half of the work is done. It's all summer clothes and stuff that I don't use on a regular basis anyways. So yeah, I know a little crazy, right? But that's how I roll. That is how I cope with my disappointments and unpredictabilities of my conditions. Okay, enough chat. I'm going to do some stretches to get my body moving because I'm still pretty stiff because I just woke up. So where am I with the car camping? Well, I got the van all ready, all set up, and I'm just waiting for good weather. I know, it's super sunny outside. It is beautiful, but it's gonna start raining this afternoon. It's going to go super cold. It's going to start snowing tomorrow, and it's gonna be super windy. So just now that I'm starting to feel a little bit better, that I am better from my cold, that my foot is getting a little bit better, I don't want to get myself into another flare by being out in the humid cold. So that's all ready for when the time comes. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I have not been doing well. I was very, very, very depressed for a few days, like very, very down, because my foot was in really, really bad shape. I mean, really bad shape. I couldn't walk. And overall, like my back pain has been getting worse. And now my shoulders are really, really bothering me. And there are times during the day that it's hard to do this, like I can't even lift my arms. And so you could see that even just doing this, just doing like some tidying up would be challenging if you're experiencing so much like shoulder pain. 
and I was just feeling really sorry for myself. I was just really upset that everything seemed to be going wrong. Like nothing was going right for me. So I just needed to feel sorry for myself for a little bit, you know? And I did. I did some crying. I opened I opened up to my husband. You know. Just kind of spilled the guts, all my feelings, everything that I was feeling. And I can't recommend that enough, you know? He didn't say anything. He didn't do anything. He was just there. He didn't offer a solution. He didn't tell me what to do. He didn't tell me that he knows what it's like because he doesn't. He just hugged me and said he loved me. That was at night before we went to bed. And then the next day, he showed me so much love. And every opportunity he had, he would stop, take a moment and give me a nice long hug. And I think people who are supporting someone with a chronic illness or even mental illness, they don't know what to do. They don't know how to handle, they don't know what to say. And that sometimes immobilizes them. And I just want to say that you don't have to do anything. You just need to be there to offer that shoulder for us to cry and just to listen to how we're feeling and just give that extra long hug and hear that we're loved. It's all that we need because we know that nobody can fix it. So we're not expecting you to fix it. We're not expecting you to come up with a solution. You don't have to know what the right thing to say is. You don't even need to say anything. And if you do, even just like, I'm so sorry you have to go through this. Don't say you know what it's like. Because even if you've gone through something similar, you don't. Because every experience is so unique. So you never know how someone feels. But just acknowledging how hard it must be, it's enough to make us feel validated. So we've done a little bit of progress. I tied it up the couch because I'm going to try to film a video today. So this is usually my backdrop. Another backdrop that I use is here, but it's sunny. The sun is shining right over there. It makes too much shadows. The light can get quite harsh and also I haven't made my bed yet and honestly I don't even think I will today because it will just get undone tonight and there's other things that I need to do that I think would be better energy spent. I tied it up here so that's good and then you think you're making progress and guess what happened? The dog peed on the carpet twice for Pete's sake, Kayla, Kayla, why'd you do that, huh? Why did you do that? Why did you pee on my carpet? Why did you pee on my carpet? And I don't know, I don't know if it's because she can't hold it or she's just disoriented because, I don't know, I don't know, she gets let out all the time so that's not an issue but she still does that from time to time and thank goodness this carpet is a ruggable they are washable carpets so let me show you here 
it has a velcro here and so this whole thing actually fits in my washing machine and then you can just put it in the dryer and put it right back here so it's not the end of the world but it's just more work for me it's like energy that i'm gonna have to spend on this today but what you're gonna do right with this little cutie face tell me sorry mommy sorry he's like sorry mommy i didn't mean it sorry mommy oh wow well. so i'm gonna get myself ready put a little bit of makeup on look a little bit presentable and try to record this video because it has been three weeks since I recorded a sit-down video. Yeah, three weeks. That's, uh, I don't even know if I know how to talk to a camera. Not like vlog style, that's different, but when you have a script and you're sort of following information that you're trying to make sure you don't miss anything, it's a lot harder. It takes a lot more for me. So let's see if we can get this video done because I don't have any more videos to upload for you guys. I had a little stash of them, but then whenever I have a flare, I end up using all of them because I don't record for a while, but now I ran out, so I gotta build my stash again. All right, let's do this. So I filmed one video, and my energy is surprisingly good today. Oh my god, you guys, I have just recorded three videos and I'm going to get a kickstart of editing and call it a day. I am not going to push it any further. I'm just excited. I'm excited. I'm having, I cannot remember when was the last time I had such a good day. So I'm just happy to be able to share that with you. I'm just going to wrap it up because I want to get this editing done and I will see you in my next vlog.